Welcome to the Atos channel. Today I'm going to show you something that I do. It's my hobby. I have Sky Surfer, the XUAV. As a, I modify my engine on this thing, I put a bigger engine on the Sky Surfer. It's a, a Rimfire 0.10. This engine is 1,250 kV. Very good engine. It's a little upgrade. This thing flies very good. And I also put on this plane this type of battery. 2,200 milliamp 30C discharge. And my receiver is there. My receiver. I also bought a spectrum receiver. That one is AR610X. AR610X receiver. The remote that I'm using, the transmitter, is Spectrum DX6i. Six channels and 10 model airplanes. 2.4 gigahertz. So, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a battery in there, bind it, give it a test drive. Alright guys, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select the model, model select, and this is what I have. I'm gonna hit OK. As you see, it binded. So let's go left on the aileron. And then go right, elevator, and then left and right on the rudder. Wow, it's a powerful motor. Well, let's give it a test drive. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you my takeoff. A friend of mine is recording right now. He's going to try to catch everything. This thing flies beautiful. With this motor, the rim fired. 0.10, 1250 kV. It does an amazing job. Look, I'm gonna do some tricks right now. Takes it easy. I got a loop, and another loop. I mean, that thing just rips, rips through that sky. Now I can fly with 2200 milliamp battery and uh, go pretty high. I can do about 40, 35 minutes flight even full throttle this thing is great it just wants to fly you can do high mode you know like uh, turn on your channels on a higher one All right, I'm gonna come for a landing I have to shave off the speed there's no really wind oh there's some That was a beautiful landing. It's way out there. I'm gonna come down a little bit. This is uh, power, maybe 20% power. Now even 20, 30% power still flies with a 2,200 2, milliamp battery. Because it came with an 1,800 milliamp. See? Barely any power, it still does very good. Now we're gonna do full throttle. I mean, it really wants to fly, really. Upside down. Let's do some kind of trick. See, it takes it easy. I'm 
come around. I'm gonna make a loop around the big tree. Full power. Definitely should buy something like this. It's fun. It flies for a long time and easy to build because this was a kit so I built it together. That's why I decided to upgrade the engine. But even with the original engine it flies pretty good. It's just this one gives you a little bit of kick. Let's see if I come for a landing. I can still fly for another 20 minutes on this battery but I'm not gonna do that. It's way out there. So right now I turn off the engines, it's just hanging in there, nice and easy. Making a circle. It just wants to stay in here. So, uh, on this Sky Surfer XUAV, the wings come off easily. You can just pull them out. Hey, can you hold the camera? I'm gonna show them. The wings come off. You can put it in your trunk, even if you have a small car. And uh, take this thing with you anywhere you want. Um, again, this is the battery. I mean, this one's pretty good, G-Force. They're pretty cheap. I bought them at the local uh, uh, store here, like a hobby store. Actually, it was Value Hobby. See? I don't know if you can see it, the battery. Value Hobby. It's in Illinois, USA. But you can also go www.valuehobby.com and you can order this stuff. Um, these batteries are cheap, like 18 bucks for 2,200 milliamp. And they last pretty good. So far, I didn't have any bubbling. And I used the... Uh, charger computer charger to balance it out anyway again i upgraded uh, from the original receiver let me this is arf uh, ar610x spectrum guys please don't buy any cheap receivers i don't know if you can see it but i will put it in the description ar610x spectrum receiver uh, it's kind of hard uh, maybe you can see it mm -hmm. I'll put it in the link in the description. So this receiver, you can get me a camera. This receiver is pretty good. I went so far up in the sky that I thought I almost lost it, but I still had a control of this plane. Never any problems with Spectrum receivers. Spectrum radio, very good. Kind of expensive, like 120. But um, there will be a lot of stuff, a lot of receivers you can buy for five, six dollars, you know, the cheap ones. But I highly do not recommend it. I had a plane that I crashed with that receiver. I lost connection. That's why I'm only using Spectrum. Now, I don't work for Spectrum. I'm not saying, oh, well, I get some payments from them. I'm just saying, um, once I start using this product, it's just, you know, I think it's one of the best, and, you know, Spectrum. And here it is. You can also order from the same website, valuehobby.com. You can order the, this kit. You can put it together. And the glue that I use, I use Gorilla Glue, safe for foam and plastics. Um, I just went to like Jules, um, just a regular store and I found it for $4 Gorilla Glue. Now the Gorilla Glue expands. So when I put this model together, it expanded out of here. So I had to like sand it down and like paint it. So that's the only problem with Gorilla Glue. But it's very tough, very, very tough. Same thing for the engine, it expanded. But it holds the engine solid. Yeah, I will uh, later show you more of my cool videos. I'm painting this one plane, but this is one of my best planes because it just flies so nice. It just glides. It's one of the good ones. Let's put it together. Now some people like attach these wings. They put like a reinforcement. I haven't done anything. I never had a problem with the wings. And, uh, let's see. I mean, you can put like a, some kind of strap or whatever, but these wings never came off for me. Only when you crash. 
but it's good when the wings even let's say when you crash this wing just flies out and you don't break it you know it's kind of good anyway let's show you this is how big this thing is sky surfer check it out definitely buy one and you will enjoy it